Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Closet Confections. I'm your host, Kendra, and today, love is in the air. Yes, Valentine's Day is this weekend, and so I was inspired to dig through my own closet and try to put together a few date night look ideas for you guys. So whether or not you have someone special to spend Valentine's Day with, I hope that you will find some inspirations. You know, date yourself. I take myself out on dates regularly, and I've been married for close to 15 freaking years. <laughs> my model is, if you can't look good for yourself, who else can you look good for? <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into the outfits. All right, so my first date night look, I think that you can never go wrong with a classic maxi dress. This is the one that I actually probably will be wearing for Valentine's Day. Eric and I are going out to dinner and we'll see if he has something surprise for me. But living in New York City, we often like to go to the opera, to shows and whatnot, and I like to look classy and elegant. So this uh, maxi dress I picked up at Zara. You guys probably saw it on my recent haul video. And I loved about it a couple things. Number one is these little red flowers that it has all over it. So it's not just a plain, boring, like funereal <laughs> looking black maxi dress. It has these gorgeous red little um, crocheted flowers on it. And then the second part about it, even though this dress comes down to my ankles, um, it's made out of this kind of sheer mesh fabric and the underskirt, the slip underneath is quite short. So it gives me a little bit of sexiness and I can show a little bit of leg while still being tasteful. So I'm pretty sure <laughs> this is the dress that I'm gonna go with for Valentine's Day. And speaking of maxi dresses, this is a gorgeous one that I got at H&M for like $19.99 and I bought it a few years ago actually and I love this dress. I've taken this one on vacation with me a few times and this one is, it's sexy but in an understated way so it has these two slits in the front so like double leg action, get a little Angelina Jolie leg going on there or maybe a little bit of J-Lo, that famous, uh, that infamous Versace dress <laughs> that J-Lo wore. Um, and also too, this one, I'm quite busty. <laughs> So this actually shows a lot on me if I'm not careful. So what I like about this one is that it has this drawstring closure in the front. So you can tighten this or loosen it as much as you want to show a little or a lot. You know, if it's a date night, go for it. <laughs> and yeah, I love this pattern. It's sort of like a paisley pattern or sort of kind of like a an ethnic print. So yes, this one is really great to wear. I've worn it to, I think we went to Key West a few um, years back and I wore this one. Super flirty, super fun. I've also just worn it out to brunch with the girls. Um, and yeah, this is definitely a keeper in my closet. So next up, an option that you really can't go wrong with for a date night is a classic slip dress. So this one I picked up at Zara and it's this gorgeous slinky sort of satin material and it comes in a fun and flirty uh, leopard print, which I love a lot. So this one, I think it would look very cute with a pair of red heels um, or you could wear it with just a pair of black um, strappy shoes as well. You can throw on a blazer if you don't want to show too much skin. But again, if it's date night, why not? And yeah, you really don't have to accessorize much with this either. I like to show off um, the decolletage and the collarbones and whatnot. So I probably would just wear my hair up, a pair of nice dramatic earrings, uh, and put on some perfume at all your pulse points. And yeah, just be ready for a night out on the town. So for my date nights, typically it involves probably going to, out to a nice fancy dinner and then maybe going to a show afterwards or sometimes just walking around the city. Like that's something that Eric and I just love to do with one another, especially <laughs> now that we have a baby. Like any time that we get to ourselves, we don't want to spend it cooped up in a movie theater. We want to be able to talk to each other and enjoy some adult conversation. That being said, sometimes for date night, you might do something active. So what if you get invited to go to like a baseball game or a basketball game or some other sort of sporting event or maybe even a concert where you want to be comfortable, um, bowling, something like that, but you want to still look fashionable? 
I think a jumpsuit is an amazing option. So this one is from Catherine Malandrino, and I've had this one for several years. And what I love about it, what keeps it from just being like um, too casual, is that it's made of this uh, sort of silky material. It's not silk, I think it's probably like a polyester blend. <laughs> but it's very slinky and it likes, it doesn't, it's not tight, but it clings definitely to all the right places. And also too, it has this deep V wrap style which is very flattering on a number of body types um, again you can kind of adjust that like sometimes I might tack it with a safety pin if I'm like wearing it around the city with Christian and I've worn it with a pair of sneakers but you know for date night I take that safety pin out and let the girls hang out too <laughs> I've worn this one with a blazer on top um, out to dinner and a pair of nice uh, Manolo Blahnik heels and felt very chic and very flirty in this outfit Next up is a classic. I mean, you really can't go wrong with the LBD, the little black dress. So this one I purchased around the holidays and I think that it works year round. It's a very floaty, lightweight material. So we all know that LBDs come in a myriad shapes and sizes and patterns and cuts and whatnot. But for me, I feel like the two main ones that I think of for date night are just the classic, like very form fitting, maybe spaghetti strap um, or even like long sleeve, just a form-fitting sort of dress. Um, these days, I probably stick more towards um, the floaty, very feminine style um, to show off my legs. And also too, it's kind of forgiving because I am a girl who likes to eat. If you take me on a date to a steakhouse, I'm getting the porterhouse, side of potatoes, and probably even dessert. <laughs> so this one is very forgiving in that department, but I love the length of it. It allows me to wear like a pair of heels and really show off. I think my legs are probably one of my better assets. Um, and this one is nice because it has these gold flecks. You can really have fun with jewelry and your accessories with this one. So like I said, LBD is a classic for a good reason. It never goes out of style. So next date night option is a cozy sweater dress. You really can't go wrong with a sweater dress. If you wanted to be a little sexier, you could get like a v-neck or something that showed a little bit more cleavage. Um, but this one, because this one is quite short, I like that it has this higher neckline. I'm always at the school of thought, like you pick one asset to show. So either I'm gonna show off up here um, so if I have something that's very, you know, um, showing a lot of uh, my cleavage, then I usually will stick with like something to be more covered at the bottom and vice versa. If I'm wearing a short dress like this one, I like to be more covered up at, at the top. So what I love about this one is the fun color, like pink is just so feminine and fun and girly. So I think it's perfect for a date. It also makes you seem very warm and inviting. So pick the right shade of pink that goes with your skin tone and makes you feel your best. And because it's close to Valentine's Day, I thought it would be fun to pair this one with some red accessories. So I will pop a picture up of how I've, sh I've worn this in the past. Sadly, those boots um, have been sitting in my closet because I can't find a cobbler who will fix the zipper, but I have hope. <laughs> Anyway, I love this dress to death and I feel like the sweater dress is a great option if you're just going on a casual like date with someone, uh, maybe a first date or you're just going maybe to walk through the park or something like that or maybe to a movie. And I just think that a sweater dress is a great option for a fun and flirty casual date night. So next up, we've of course already talked about the little black dress, but now I want to introduce the little red dress. So this dress is gorgeous, so spaghetti straps are always a nice, fun, flirty option for a date night. This one is a pleated uh, dress that I got from H&M. Again, I've had this for a few years, but what I love about it is that it's great for dancing. So if you're going um, on a hot like salsa date night or something like that, this will be great just twirling around on the dance floor. And again, with this one, I like the school of thought where if you're gonna show off in one area, you wanna be covered, more covered in the other area. So for this one, you could go quite short. This one is actually a decent length. I think it's like right at my knees and I'm about five foot seven. Um, but it still has that sort of flirty vibe, especially when you kind of twirl in it and because it is so exposed up here. You could also toss on, I don't think I would do a cardigan with this one, but you could probably toss on a blazer as well. So while you're eating dinner, but once you hit the dance floor, you could shed that blazer um, and really work up a sweat <laughs> in this one. You know, I found like in New York City, for some reason, people don't really dance here. Like I'm from Detroit where like, people get down. So 
help. <laughs> I'm used to parties where the invitation says dress to sweat and they don't really see that so much in New York. But I will say that when I've gone out salsa dancing, like salsa merengue, those people, they get down. <laughs> people who do salsa merengue, they, they get down. So this will be a perfect number to wear in that situation. All right, so I've shared a lot of dresses with you guys and one jumpsuit, but I also wanna go back to just another like classy, um, casual outfit you can wear for a day. So you can never go wrong with a pair of good fitting jeans. Like every woman should have at least that one pair of jeans in your closet that just makes you feel sexy, makes you feel confident, makes you feel comfortable. And so for me, you guys, I've sung the praises of my black Madewell road tripper jeans. I'm actually in search of another, like I feel like the loose fit jeans are um, popping up now and they look a lot more flattering than they have in the past so I'm gonna get a pair of those I will maybe do a video about that but in the meantime these uh, mate will road tripper skinny jeans have served me well and I think they will continue to for a long time um, so a pair of black jeans and I just love it paired with a like a ultra feminine um, blouse so in this case I got this one from Shein and it's a wrap style blouse and the material it's kind of like that scuba material but not quite as thick so it's very drapey and I like that it wraps around um, so it kind of makes your waist look a little bit smaller and then of course you can adjust how open it is um, based on how much you want to show up here or not show um, so this one I would probably keep the jewelry very simple wear a nice pair of earrings or maybe even I might um, wear simple earrings and throw on a nice necklace um, but yeah I've worn when I first got this top I wore it so much like I probably wore this like once or twice a week for like two months <laughs> both casually and for date nights because it just works so yes a great option just a classic white blouse and a pair of great fitting jeans some minimal jewelry. one or two statement pieces and you're good to go and last, but definitely not least, because it's so close to Valentine's Day, I couldn't resist this outfit. So it's a little bit on the nose <laughs> for Valentine's Day, but it is the slip skirt. And I got this gorgeous red one um, at the end of last year, or maybe last fall I got this one. And, you know, just like the slip dress, uh, slip skirts are a great option. They're just like slinky. The fabric feels very luxe. And I just think that, you know, it kind of reminds you of a pair of like satin pajamas. So, <laughs> you know, you got to start the romance early. <laughs> And for this case, because it is Valentine's Day, I thought it would be so fun to pair it with my Jambasta Valley shirt with the little red lip details all over. So just a super cute outfit. I don't know if I would wear this out. No, I definitely know I would wear this outside of Valentine's Day. But, you know, if there's one day of the year <laughs> where you could wear an outfit like this, it's February 14th. So that is all, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, whether you're watching on Valentine's Day or if it's you know, the middle of June or July. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you got some outfit ideas um, that will help you have fun, um, feel confident, and, you know, feel a little sexy <laughs> on your next date night. As always, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to me talk about clothes. <laughs> As always, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications. And if there's a favorite outfit, let me know down in the comments and if there's different things that you want me to do a video on i'm always looking for new ideas let me know down in the comments as well and until next time stay classy and stay fabulous